Right, oh, welcome back to another episode of the Hall House Garage YouTube channel. Uh, episode 23, I believe. 23. Going through them really quick, but uh, yeah. we're back and uh, another big episode for you Turbo Kit. Turbo Kit! One you've been asking about for a while, like where we're going to get a turbo and all this stuff. But before we start, I think we should talk about. What's happening here? What's this? A bit, of, bit of big news actually. What you got? So, What's the Bird Dog has got some. Sponsored parts. Whoa! Whoa! All right. <laughs> so it's probably the most shiny thing on the car. But hands down, it is. Oh, it's just. So we've had a uh, message from the boys at Max Peding Rods, focus on performance, yeah. and they supply. Uh, yep. You know, Looking here. About us. <clears throat> yeah. Max Peding Rods is focused on performance over decades with more than. 300,000 customers all over the world. We house 100 pieces of equipment in our 100 square foot manufacturing facility and Facebook has up more than 250,000 fans. <laughs> all right. So, dear customer, satisfaction... Ugh, start that again. <laughs> if I can read. Um, <laughs> satisfaction is our top priority. We hope you enjoyed the shopping experience of Max Burning Rods. All our products are fully warranted against any manufacturer defect. For any problem, please contact us, contact us at uh, maxpeedingrods.com. We will solve your problem within 24 hours. It's good service. Now, yes. when they sent us this, we uh, weren't too sure what they made or whatever, but it turns out that pretty much everything we've bought for the bird dog or the engine or whatever they make. So, uh, the engine mounts they make, the head stud kit, uh, they make throttle bodies, uh, what else? They, they specialise in H-Bend Conrods for a wide range of vehicles and they do coilover kits. Yeah. So, uh, he sent us a message and said, can you help me out with some bits? So, what do we got, mate? Well, we got two sets. I'll take that plastic. These bad boys. Alright. You can see. Uh, coilover kit. So these are for an S14 uh, Nissan, but we are going to adapt these to, they don't actually do one for the early Corolla struts, but we're going to make an adapter that uh, the tube on the Corolla struts is a little bit smaller, so we're going to get an adapter machined up to go in between there and there, so that's all stays straight, and then we'll get a tab welded on the side of the uh, our old strut, and then we'll have... Uh, Nice coilover kit. Uh, they're adjustable at the top with the Allen key. Oh, actually, that one's got the little knurl thing on it. So you can adjust your shock uh, dampening and all that. Got our strut tops on there, which are adjustable. Now, they make these for Commodores. They make it for pretty much everything. everything. Yeah. Um, so jump on their website and go through. They make turbos, they make carbines, they make... Uh, Say how many products they have? Yeah, we've got hundreds of stuff. So, uh, yeah. uh, so they've got turbos there, they've got uh, millions of reviews from good customers. Yeah. Billet cranks, turbos, carbies, air suspension, coilovers, connecting rods, plus there's a gazillion other things they have on their website. So, uh, them boys have come on board, which you really appreciate. Yeah. Um, so, the parts we've they could supply, uh, so we've got engine mounts, head studs, throttle body, uh, they've got alternators, they're going to hook us up with an alternator, like yeah. LS alternators, uh, but yeah, jump on the site, we won't go through it all now, but jump on their site and have a flick through if you're looking for something, and they might be able to hook you up, so they're going to hook us up with that, yeah. uh, alternator, what else do we have on the list? Uh, we had a lot of a few things that we could need, like spark plug leads. Oh yeah, they do all that. Turbos. All that um, stuff. Yeah, so lots of stuff. So yeah, lots of stuff. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to do a budget project like this, I'm not sure where they're based. Hong Kong or something like that. They're based in like China, Hong Kong, but they've got. Um, Hang on, they've got a thing on the back here. Oh, don't ring me now. Don't call me now. <laughs> I'll send you a message. I'll call you back. Oh yeah, got the map of the world here. A little big in Australia, yeah? US. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, thanks to them boys. Yeah. Um, when we get the alternator and a few other bits, 
Thank we'll put that through, but this, uh, this episode, we are going to concentrate on the turbo kit. Turbo kit. Which so. we've roughly added up to be about 800 bucks. Yeah, 780. 780 or whatever, but I'm sure there's a few other bits that we've left out. So roughly 800 bucks. So we've laid it all out here, what we've got, okay. what we haven't got. And I've got the prices on my phone, which I've had up from eBay. So first off, we'll start with our inner cooler, which the boys at Max Peating also make, but we got this one off Marketplace. It's a plate and bar one, had nice ends on it. Uh, I think it owes us 220 bucks. Yeah. So that was a good thing. It's got the tabs on it. We've sat her in front of the bird dog. It's not gonna fit too bad. So that's the first bit. Then we have, uh, where is it on my list here? Right, then we've got uh, 3.5 clamps, right righto. So we've got three of them clamps, which are, make that apart. Righto, so the aluminium, they lock in, they've got an O-ring in them. Make sure your camera works slow this week. You're getting yelled at for bloody whizzing around too quick. Yeah, motion. motion. Yeah, you need to bloody slow that down, mate. Slow. So they lock in together. They're a pretty nice deal. So we'll get that uh, welded on there. Chop our access off. And that'll make us a nice tight. Um, that's the cheapest way I could find on eBay um, to have a nice clamp without the silicon joiner jigger. So. Uh, all right, so we've that? got them. That's going to be on each end, and there'll be one up here. We've got to thank Andy Mack from the Spice Wagon. Yep. He's hooked us up with his old uh, intake. It's got a throttle body on her, uh, and he gives a starter and a heap of other stuff. So big thanks to Andy Mack. Mm-hmm. So we're going to weld the problem. Uh, a lot of people have with these things you'll see on LS's is they're always blowing the um, coupling off the silicon joiner off the thing because boost when it goes around a bend doesn't like if it's joined straight it's a lot less chance it'll come off than if it has a bend there because the pressure there for some reason it blows it off so we always with yours yes, we buy a, uh, a cast elbow pull electronics off we'll get Nath or Lukey to weld an elbow on it so we actually our straight joiner will be the only silicon join on the whole thing and yeah. it's a straight run and they don't, well yours hasn't blown off yet really has it? We've nah. had a pretty good run with it but the, when we always used to fart round and put them on there when, once you start getting up in the boost range it seems, cause there's not much of a lip there obviously it's just a factory thing, it wasn't yeah. meant to have boost in it and it blows it off so if you can make your join straight we'll put your join straight, it'll be good so we'll have, they haven't turned up yet uh, a cast bend on there uh, we'll have another clamp there. Actually, mm. no, nah, we'll have a silicon join there. Yeah, silicon. That's an extra one. Yeah. Um, so our joins will be got one there. off here. So, all right, I suppose we should get into the turbo. Everyone's been asking about the turbo. Everyone's been asking about the turbo. Been asking about the turbo. <laughs> she bloody is. Absolutely. Now, if someone smarter than us can find out the specs on this, I think it's like a... It's a Mitsubishi Turbo. 91 millimeter or something. Uh, uh, it's a little bit smaller than a 4788 according to WOG. Uh, but it's a TD1042F. And the story is, whether it's true or not, that it's off the uh, Spirit of Tasmania or a tugboat. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Tommy and Ali, it's off some sort of Mitsubishi boat engine. <laughs> and they've given it to us. Oh, it's probably going to cost me a box of beers or something, but yeah. uh, 50 bucks. So it's a rando, there's zero guarantees on it. Yeah, we have no idea. This no thing. idea, it spins, so that show, was a good start. Show them the exhaust, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whether this thing will spool this thing up will be another thing. <laughs> it's got some nice chicken wire heat coating on it. Yeah, we don't know about Yeah, that. it's very mystery bag. So that is the turbo for the bird dog. Maybe off the Abel Tasman, <laughs> maybe off a tugboat. We're not sure. If you know more about Mitsubishi turbos than us, let us know what it is. So, Righto, so, so we are going to come out of, uh, out of the engine, like so. We'll be lopping that off. Um, factory mounts. 
got, uh, yeah, where have I got them? We've got, oh, that's our crossover. So we'll have a cast iron, that'll be cast iron, which we've got some leftovers from other projects. So it'll be cast iron to our flange, so it'll be around here somewhere. So we'll join that to that. Then, where's my flange? We've got a, Righto, so Kyle up at six boost, doesn't use these anymore, he had to dig under the bench and find one, so we've got a T6 flange, I haven't actually seen if that fits that, I hope it does. Oh, yes. uh, well, the holes are a bit big, but we'll make, <laughs> we'll make it work. Alright, so T6 flange, so we're going to have our... Ooh. You know, manifold back to that, that'll come back to wherever that sits, we haven't really looked at it, a bit of a cast pipe. Then we'll weld uh, another cast pipe off here for our crossover yep. and we've got these clamps off good old eBay again. Same sort of deal but they're um, stainless. We'll get one of the boys at the milk factory to acquire us <laughs> a couple of bits of second hand 2.5 stainless. <laughs> uh, so we'll have a cast off there, um, weld that on. So. That crossover pipe will go over to there. That's another, your flexi bit for your crossover pipe. So when it gets hot and cold, it can contract a bit. They're just an expansion joint type deal. We'll go through the price on them in a minute. I'll find them. Oh, that seems very flimsy, but anyway. <laughs> uh, then on the other side, we'll have the same deal. We'll, um, we'll lock that flange off. And depending on where it sits in the engine, we might just put a little 45 on it and then we'll have our we'll have our uh, clamp there somewhere where it's easy to get at maybe on, yeah, like that, so our crossover pipe we'll have an our expansion joint in it uh, and then it'll run into the bottom of the flange which will also, that. so that whole crossover pipe if we need to, we'll be able to drop it out by itself. Use stainless so you save a little bit of weight, which yeah. should help a little bit, but these are going to be heavy anyway, but uh, it is what it is. So, that's that hot side of it. And then we've got to get to off our... Um, uh -huh. What will we do with that eBay? Yeah. Look at these cheeky buggers. I bought this, uh, this was 133 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Made in the USA, I don't think so, <laughs> for 133 bucks. Uh, but it's, now. yeah, anyway, so we've got, we'll put up all the prices and all that for a list, but uh, yeah, so that's going to be our wastegate, which will, um, where our two pipes meet together, Fine. we'll probably bore a hole in it and just have another cast one coming out yep. with our waste going on. That's a 60 mil, so that should be plenty for this little thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll have that. Then onto our turbo. Our turbo will have... That's the hot side done. Then we'll have our... We've bought a box of this cooler tube. It's 3.5. Yes, it's, got, it's got flexi bends and all stuff. That was $126 for all the tube. And it's actually thick wall stuff for a change. Like, it shouldn't be too bad, so... Yeah. We'll be out of our turbo. Oh, that's what that other clamp's for. Numpy. Oh, turbo. Yeah. yeah, so whatever we weld on there. It's not really in proportion here, is it? <laughs> so we'll have a cast elbow on there. That'll go to there with our other clamp on that, like so. Yep. Um, then we'll come over to this side. Another clamp on there. Join that up with whatever bits of tube we use. That'll go up to that, which will have a cast elbow. And I'm pretty sure all this beautiful equipment it does. And it even comes with terrible hose clamps and silicon <laughs> joiners, but no straight ones. But we'll find a bit of old truck boost hose. We'll have some of that. Oh, actually, there's some shoved in there. Oh, it's oh yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So our, our soft joint will be up here because um, we've got rubber mount, so it's going to be a bit of movement. So that's our basic cooling system. Then we've got our blow-off valve, another eBay special. 
which will be welded under the pipe there. It comes with the comes with a little sculpt out jigger to oh, yeah. weld on. Obviously that's for smaller tube but we'll make that work. Um, where are we? So we'll die grind that out to fit on there. That'll be our blow off valve. Yep. And yeah so I've exhaust out into the turbo around through our cooler Back around into the engine, yep. wastegate on that side, our blow off valve, and like I say, we'll weld our bits on the bottom of them, uh, make our crossover pipe, which will get some stainless off the boys this week, and that will be the turbo kit done. I've ordered on these blocks, they've got an oil plug up here in the oil gallery, so that will be, uh, you can buy a little fitting off eBay it's uh, five or seven bucks so it's got you undo that screw your, your nut in with your hole uh, and that'll be our oil feed for our turbo line to go in there Yeah, return it's got this funky bracket I don't know if we're going to use that we'll try because <laughs> someone's put a lot of effort in yeah. now we'll turn we'll go into our Same. fitting in our sump and that should be it uh, now what else oh this is nothing we're talk about our, our balancer we got off Frankie thanks, thanks Frank. Frankie so this is a six liter or LS2 I think I'm led to believe so the five threes and the five sevens the pulleys stick out a long way so we're not gonna have not so bad because we've notched the firewall but if you're struggling for room and you're doing an early LS conversion uh, and that will go back further because that's actually sunk into it so you'll probably pick up what do we got there shit there's easy inch and a half you'll probably pick up I'd say two and a half three inches so if you're struggling for room between your inner cooler your radiator your fans and all that stuff uh, like your thing it was very congested we yeah. had to put an electric pump on yours yeah. So that'll give us a bit more room in the car, so when we have air yeah, cooler, radiator and all that, we should have plenty of room in this thing. So um, it was a factory six cylinder car, so Tommy put all the other bullshit in the middle. Um, yeah, so that's why we've gone that road. We've got a, we've got that to go on there. We've got a six litre uh, water pump that suits that, which will suck her all back in. Yep. Uh, I think Andy Mack is sending us a 5.7 alternator bracket. We're gonna have to drill and tap the block there. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll just have to shave the back off it to make it sunk in and then I think the water pump has an idler pulley up here so we should be able to use the factory pump with all the accessories deleted and that top one is a tensioner so that should um, use all that and that shouldn't cost us nothing so with that sorted out then what else we're going to move on then we've got Trends. We're throwing up ideas. I was talking to Gonzo at All Fast, another supporter of our show, yes, and a couple of boys in the States. I was umming and ahhing whether to put a standard flex plate in this thing or not, and quite, um, I don't know what the word is, but they said, unless you want to be laying on the side of the road, it goes, not a matter <laughs> if, when, that flex plate will break with the <laughs> power you're trying to make. So we've got this banger here, which I think was 143 bucks, nice and thick, and RTS, the part number's there, RTS FP753. So the beauty of this, which I didn't realise, uh, it comes with the spacer, so if you've got an old um, what, glide or turbo 400 and the standard converter, it comes with this little bush that you can slide on the front of your old converter, which will adapt it to... Um, the LS type, type deal. So, uh, cheap insurance if you don't want to be laying on the side of the road yeah. and looking for a flex plate in the middle of the night. I'm getting covered in stuff. I haven't seen if this fits, but I guess it does. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. It fits pretty nice, actually. Uh -huh. And I know, so that's your spacer. Uh, we'll probably shout at some decent. Um, bolts as well some flex plate bolts and then this pattern here should bolt straight to your turbo style converter and we should be right so yep. we are to put that on um, get our converter put it on the box and then another 
marketplace beauty this week was a quick stick shifter off um, uh, mar yeah, marketplace. Oh, you know what I'm saying here. <laughs> um, off uh, one of the Sydney boys, Johnny Habib. He, uh, yeah. I think we got that for uh, 250 bucks, I think, with the cable and everything. Yeah, the covers there. Yep. So thanks to Johnny for that. Um, yeah. One of the Sydney radio legends up there. And he posted it down for us. So yeah. we've got our shifter. Um, we've got trans cooler and lines, which I got off marketplace, I think, for 80 bucks. So all we need to do is make a tab for that because I've lost it. And actually, we might have a spare one somewhere. Okay. That'll be the transmission work. Um, got our cool lines. We've got the old tail shaft out of the gasser, which we're going to get shortened. And then we've got to think. Uh, we got onto Johnny Ricker this week. Race. Ran out of storage, but we're back. Oh, we're back. Righto. Johnny Ricker, thank you. So boys at Race Parts Melbourne, Johnny Ricker has sent us some wheel nuts. Uh, for the back of the bird dog, hold the wheels on, and we've got our shock mounts, little kit there. So we'll weld them on our tube we put in the other day, and they'll be our shock mount brackets. So, uh, we've got them. Uh, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, We're still chasing injectors, injectors some ID 2000s. I found about five. Uh, so we've got to round up some of them. So we'll give um, one of the boys a ring and we'll suss out some of them. Uh, what else? We've got all that. We'll run through, we'll go yeah, to the board and run through all the prices. Yep. Uh, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, anything else interesting happen? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, oh, we've got, we've ordered um, shocks from Burnsy, some rear shocks, oh, okay. um, to suit our leaf springs, so um, thanks to Craig Burns at FCF Race Cars, yep. uh, if you want any um, shocks or stuff like that, if you're um, drag racing or whatever, he's built some of the best cars in the country, and uh, one thing you don't want to skimp out on his rear, sh rear shocks on a <laughs> leaf spring car. <laughs> yep. uh, they're very violent compared to a four-link car, and uh, if you've got terrible ones, it'll you'll battle all the time. So it's yep. something not to scrimp on. Um, we haven't got our tank back from Nath yet, have we? Um, no, I don't think so. I think we have. But it's that nice. Oh, it is that nice. All right, so yeah. maybe we'll run through the fuel system. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I'm not sure where it is. Uh, it'll be with a tank. All right, uh, so our, our uh, tank, uh, which I think we, we went through that last episode, didn't we? Yeah, I believe so. Righto, so from our tank, we're going to have um, some stainless line. Yeah. Um, Terry sent these down, thanks to Tezza from Paramount Performance and Anita. Yeah, yeah. So we've got our fittings here. So basically, it'll go the regs on top of the tank. We'll have a right angle on our braided line. A braided line will come down. We've got some hard line somewhere. That will go up to our um, fuel filter. We've got fittings there to join to the fuel filter. It'll come out. And then from the fuel filter, which will be beside the transmission sort of thing. And then the other bit of flexi line will come up the top. Um, we've got fuel rails over there, which we'll use. So our line will come from our filter uh, up the back into our fuel rail and it'll loop around. I'll be plugged off on this side. So we've got all the fittings to do that. I think that was 450 bucks. Yep. So that's our fuel system. So we just need injectors and we've got everything to finish that. So that'll be that job done. Um, I didn't bring the computer out, but we've got a, one of them Terminator X holy deals, which yep. on these, while well, we got it, because electrical sucks. Uh, <laughs> everything plugs in. Um, back into the car, it comes with a little dash, but we'll, we'll do that before we put in. We might just plug it all in to show you how easy it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah so that'll be our drive line pretty much complete. Uh, once, yeah, once we get all that front accessories on, um, mess around with them brackets and stuff, be able to get a belt on. Um, we've got to, oh, that's what we get some gaskets for these. 
gaskets for them and we'll get all the accessories bolted on and we should be good to go. Yep. Um, what else do we need to cover? Um, Questions, anything else that you've come up? Yeah, if anyone doesn't understand something or they want more knowledge, not knowledge really, but... Not knowledge of us. <laughs> <laughs> that might be happening. If you want us to explain it, always feel free to leave a comment. Try to answer all the comments, always reading them. So, right. we'll, uh, we'll show you the budget board now. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Oh, I should get these too. Put these on. Oh, yeah. I won't include them in this bloody episode, but oh, there's our um, tail shaft uni jointer holder on the things. These are a bloody beauty. Crap everything. Got so, you've got one in Cordy's car. If you're wiring up a car, we try and leave the, the Falcon wiring system separate to everything else when you're putting a new so if you're on the side of the road or drag weekend or whatever and you've got a problem yep. it's easy to isolate 60 year old car wiring from what you've done so <laughs> they've got phone plugs in them buddy cigarette lighter i think they're only 35 bucks they're all wired up you stick your power in uh, for each thing it's got a volts gauge on them so yeah you can um, make your ignition fans, bloody fuel pumps, or whatever you want to do. There's yep. six options there, so we, you'll be battling to use them all. But um, they're a good thing. We'll probably make a little panel that sits up in the car, um, running our power up from the starter. So this, the computer, and everything to do with our drive line, our fuel pumps will all be on this. So if we've got a problem on the side of the road or at the track, yep. we're not under the bloody dash searching for a bloody 60 year old wire that's gone <laughs> fried out or something so yeah if you are wiring up your car which wog will be doing on ours because yeah. i hate wiring and wog's pretty good at it uh they're a good thing for a drag week or drag type car yep. charge your phones up put your buddy tom tom in there for your dash or whatever uh cheap thing ebay special and you bought the same thing just six relays are all wired up so on the front of our we'll probably on the, because we've put this stupid big tunnel in, <laughs> uh, and we're not really going for looks, we're going for functionality. So, if you can tell, we've got the big flat bit here, so our computer will probably screw to that. We'll probably make a little panel here for that switch panel to go on. Um, our power wire will come in, and everything will be uh, easy to get at. So, uh, if we've got a problem, the, all our relays won't be hidden, you'll be able to sit there pull it out, do what you need to do. So yeah. that's sort of another reason. We did that on your car as well, and it works good if you're um, chasing a problem. There's yeah. nothing worse than chasing a, a, war, a racetrack after you've entered and you stuff around all day and find a bloody a shitty old wires let you down. So <laughs> it'll have all, and for the price of it, it'll have all new wiring for the for the deal. So I don't um, think anything wiring lad has gone wrong on my car yet. No, it's been good. I don't think so. It's anyway. been good and it's simple so yeah, if it's all yeah. laid out, I know it's not pretty, you can see it all but whatever, but yeah. uh, we don't go for pretty, we just want <laughs> it to work. So, yeah. all right, so we'll get on to... Do a quick where cut. Are we? And we'll get on to where this. are we actually at? 4250. Uh, engine I think. Yeah. No. yeah I'll, we'll, we'll do a quick cut and set up. All right, we'll write all this down. Right, I've got our board updated here for our turbo kit. We're up to, we passed the five grand mark. We're up to- Oh, that's a tight end. Slow, slow your head down. Oh. <laughs> that's that, look at that, yeah. yeah. All right, so what we've got? Intercooler, which we're not gonna pick up and show you. Show you that. 220 bucks. So if you get on Marketplace, you'll find something similar. There's cheaper ones, there's dearer ones. Just hunt around till you find something that'll fit your car or whatever you're doing. Uh, our piping, which was a 3.5 inch um, piping kit on eBay, it was 126. And normally them kits come with your silicon joiners and clamps and whatever else. So we've got that. Uh, what do we got next? Blower valve, which is here. And what was that last? 58 bucks. So that's there. And now, another thing when, when you get these things from uh, China or eBay or whatever, Never trust them when you um, when you get them. Always pull them apart and make sure there's no dags and little things. When some guy's getting paid 
how much do they get paid? 20 cents an hour. <laughs> They're probably not going to put that much effort into pudding if it's Friday afternoon or Monday morning. And <laughs> they've been eating a bloody eat for sushi and on the bloody sake yeah. and all that. <laughs> Might be like us. So always pull them apart, make sure there's no dags, everything's working as it should because they are, at the end of the day, you know, a uh, cheap product. So make sure you go through them. Yep. All right, so what's that blow off valve? We've got our waste gates. Right. Uh, what was that worth? 133, same thing on eBay. It's got all the bits and pieces there with it, the clamps and your weld on jiggers and all that. Um, uh, what have we got next? Flex join. So for in between our, um, our crossover pipe, and they are one way. If you put it on backwards, the force, it's going to get the gas in under there. Let's look for the smooth way where it goes through. Like when you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. So that's our flex join for our crossover. What else we got? 3.5 inch clamps, which we have uh, times three. Yeah. So they were 93 bucks. Uh, our oil feed adapter, which we don't have yet, is that little thing I was telling you about that screws in the side of the block and it's got a fitting for your oil line. So we haven't got that yet. So that was 12. Uh, our 3.5 cast elbow that we're gonna weld on our um, foil body. That hasn't turned up, but that was uh, 48 bucks. 2.5 inch clamps, so we have two clamps that are going to go on both uh, our crossover pipe to our flange and our driver side, I guess it is. Um, exhaust manifold, so what were they? They were 58 bucks for the pair, so same deal if we got them. We'll weld one onto the manifold and then the other one on our crossover pipe and we'll be beauty bonza. So we've got them, so that's our crossover pipe done. Uh, our boat turbo from Tommy, Arley and Brad, which could be a stitch up. I don't know if this little yeah. thing's gonna spool it up. <laughs> I like the story, so we're gonna use it. So yeah. Abel Tasman or Spirit of Tasmania or <laughs> Timmy's tugboat, whatever it come off. Thanks anyway, and if you've got info on it, if you've watched through and you've got specs on it, actually know what it's off, yeah. that'd be cool as well. We've done a bigger digging, but we couldn't find too much. Yeah. Uh, what else? But to, uh, now the oil feed line kit, which will go from our oil feed adapter to the turbo, uh, 38 bucks. They're on eBay everywhere. We just looked that up. So that gives us a grand total of 887 for our turbo kit. Yep. Now obviously <coughs> uh, we'll get our turbo cheap, uh, but I've seen heaps of um, Cummins truck turbos and stuff on Marketplace. Uh, for like 50 bucks, like, and they're a little bit smaller, but they would yeah. more than make seven or 800 horsepower pretty easy, I reckon. I actually wanted to use one, but Andrew took me out, I reckon we'd max it out. So we've still got a couple laying around the yard on truck, so that if this thing doesn't work, it could happen, yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, doesn't have to, yeah, there's plenty of um, turbo options out there. Like I say, all your other stuff is just um, cheap stuff, but just go through it when you get it, make sure it's all got in it what it's supposed to have and put together properly. Um, we go to Drag Week and whatever and there's 50 cars yeah. that use all this stuff and they run a lot faster than some of our cars, some of them, like, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, make sure you go through your bits. Um, so that's covered all that. So, yeah, so our previous total was 4250. Yeah, turbo kit was 887, which brings us to a grand total so far of five thousand one hundred thirty-seven dollar earnings. Um, now, what else do we actually need? That's going to be a big item. So the computer is going to be there's a thousand. That's going to be like twelve fifty or thirteen hundred. So I got it when it was cheap price. But they're a thousand dollars US. Them Terminator <coughs> X's. Them no. computers we're using. Um, so we're gonna have, what's that gonna bring us up to? Plus six, a few other schools, 6,000, 300. Uh, our shockers are gonna be, I reckon they'll be a grand or better. Yeah. So it's gonna be seven. Uh, there'll be a thousand dollars worth of little bits and pieces, I would think, maybe. We've nearly got all the big stuff. Just yeah, break, the, as break, I say, the, the, the last 10% of the car Normally yeah. cost ninety percent of the uh, <laughs> the thing with the little stuff that you've forgotten about, but I think we've got all the big stuff. 
Christmas. So we should be close to our eight grand, I reckon. We've got our... We thank Scotty for the cage, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. We'll just thank him again. Thank and you, yeah. Tell from the Street Machine boys. Yeah. Uh, we've got to dissect that and try and fit it into the car. Yeah, we'll have we, a we bit haven't of, looked at it yet. <laughs> oh, I've had a bit of measure up. It might be uh, a little bit wider <laughs> in spots, but we'll, uh, we'll make that work. So... What are we going to do? So we've nearly got everything. So now we can bolt the flex plate to the engine. I'll get some good flex plate bolts this week. Actually, I'll order them tonight. Um, so we can bolt the box to the engine now. we got to chase up some injectors. And then we'll try and put as much to get together, I think, outside of the car. So it's easy for you guys to see. Even the, the computer wire and all that, we might put the box on. Um, show you how to plug it all in and whatever. And then do as much as we can. Um, and then we'll, we'll slide her in so we're not trying to look in behind stuff where you can't see. Um, yeah. yeah, so that should be pretty much it, shouldn't it? Yeah, um, I think all the turbo kit parts we used and most of the parts of our car is on the Max Peating Rods actual website. So, oh, there you go. If you don't want to use Facebook Marketplace and you're a bit better than us, yeah, you can, um, well, get on there, sort the, and check yeah, stuff out. There yeah. is thousands of bits and pieces. So, yeah. Once again, thanks to the boys from Max Peeing Rods come on, and I hope, uh, yeah. like we say, you boys at home that are doing a project like this can use a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, who else we've got to thank? We've got to thank Race Parts Melbourne, Johnny Ricker. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, we've got to thank Andy Mack. Yep. Of the Splice Wagon. Thank you. Uh, Frankie for the balancer. Yep. We've got to thank uh, Johnny for the shifter. Yep. Uh, what else we got in the pile there? Turbo. Oh yeah, Tommy, Ali and Brad for the turbo, which could be a stitch up, we're not <laughs> sure. So I don't know if yeah. we should thank them, but thanks anyway, boys. <laughs> They're all legends. I don't know, have they built anything yet? I haven't heard anything from them, oh, boys. Well, we went down to their shop and there was didn't, nothing, didn't nothing, see, nothing really there. <laughs> their shift is bloody, you know yeah, what, so they could have got something stashed at the back. Knows, I don't know how yeah. Scotty's going with the wagon. About the same as us. I think, I think Scotty's on holidays, isn't he? He said he was yeah, going to holiday last time, yeah. so yeah. he might be having a bit of a break. A break yeah. uh, how's uh, Lukey Kessel going with the banana? I don't know. I haven't had time to watch. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I'm really that. watching, isn't it? I'm I sure he's bloody he's getting that going. He's getting the going, yeah. Um, yeah. So, nice. thank everyone. Done everything. And oh, I know who is. Um, I know who is getting knocked out. Who? Um, what's his name? Steve with Rad FE. Oh yeah, Steve, Stevie Meadows has got it going, yeah, hasn't he? He's got I haven't it actually watched it ever in time. Oh, no. yeah, I've seen the Rad FE, it. Stevie Meadows has got the FE going, so I don't know if he's tuned it or anything, but it was yeah, running. It was running. So he's, uh, he's, he's, he's obviously had a lot more time than us <laughs> lately. Uh, it's going, so that's one yeah. in. Um, oh, that's what we need. Somebody, <laughs> maybe uh, with the new uh, Mang shitty Corolla oh, have... may have stuck it into an excavator bucket. Yeah, performing... someone someone did notice in the last performing wheelies. If you if you watched the last, I think that was Mickey Teasdale's onto it. <laughs> if you watched uh, all the way to the end, you would have seen the burnout and tried to. It was before that though. It was before that. It was about that. twenty seconds after we got it going. We literally pulled it off the trailer. It had no brakes. The back tire went flat, and somebody may have stuffed it into the excavator yeah, bucket so... and got yelled at by someone else <laughs> and yeah so if yeah. you've got a bonnet and a right hand might guard as well, might as well show them at this point well you might as well yeah, there. you're uh, committed now <laughs> a bonnet and a guard and a bumper by the look of it <laughs> yeah we got, a, we got a bumper i think but yeah the man the main shitty didn't last too long but no it's not too bad we only need guard and some of the front stuff i think everything else will be right but yeah that wasn't my fault. <laughs> for once. For once. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save that for your next yeah. bloody time to crash something. Yeah, we're, um, one, we're one nil now for crashing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> one apiece. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll do that. Any questions or anything you want yeah. to know? Chuck them up. Questions. Well, <laughs> how many bloody subs are we up to? 3800. 30, 3800. Just, just getting there. Click your bloody, um, whatever it is, <laughs> what your subscribes. Get over it, we're going to get to. What are we going to get to? Four. Oh. What should we get? I think 5,000 is a good number. 5,000. Nice pretty, round number. Pretty nice number. Where are we, uh, Yeah, the other thing. Oh, 
T-shirts. We need to vote on yeah, them. We need bloody to... hammering about T-shirts. I'll put a comment down below saying T-shirts and just like it or leave a reply or something. If you Stick want. your finger what? up or yeah. whatever. <laughs> do whatever. Uh, do and, you, and you need to write on what we're going to have on them. Yeah. Got a picture of the car. Do you want a bloody... Where's Billy Bob been? Where is Billy Bob? <laughs> like, Maybe, oh, maybe there's there. not enough. <laughs> there's not enough action for it. We have to get yeah. him back. So, do we want the car pick, what bird dog, yeah. the Billy Bob reference? Um, yeah, like um, you let us know what you. you we've got, got a wear we've got a few. Um, got a few phrases. Few phrases. Yeah. There's a couple of beauties in there too. So, yeah, let us know about that, and we'll get our boy Ryan Ford on a design. Yeah. And if you're a t-shirt company or the like, or you know someone that prints them up for you that does a good job and, and yep. good price and good quality, we don't want crap shirts because you've got to wear them all the time. So if you know someone like that, or you are a company that does that, <coughs> let us know. We'll happily share you out and stuff. Um, so yeah, we need, or even... Stickers and stuff. Oh, yeah, stickers. And jumpers and stuff. Everyone's, everyone's wants stickers apparently. Do they? Yeah, all right, well you let us know what you want. We'll have a bit of a vote. And yeah. Uh, we'll round up someone to make some stickers. Yeah. And what else? Uh, so we should be. Hopefully, we can do something productive next episode, yeah. not just talk a lot and drain your lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, we thought we'd go through that. That's where we're at. Yep. Um, we thank everybody. Done a lot. Thanks for the support. Big yep. thanks to Max Peating Rods for coming yep. on board. And make sure you check out the website. Yep. In the, uh, in the description. In the description. Make sure you check that. And who else? That's about it, isn't it? Yeah, I think. We we'll might make a bit more of a list now. It's Sunday. Yeah. We're going to work tomorrow, so. Yeah. Well, um, oh, you're on holidays. Oh, yeah, on holidays. Oh, I know he's doing all the work this week. <laughs> you, know, hey, you might get a bloody double hit this week if you're lucky. Yeah, well. If someone. Uh, Gets, his, gets motivated, so yeah. all right, we'll leave it there. And yeah, if you know of any crawler panels or yeah. even shells that we can nick a few bits <laughs> off, because I don't think this is going to be the first time this is going to happen, <laughs> uh, let us know. Front right hand guard. Right hand guard and yellow, a bonnet, yellow, maybe a bumper. Yellow, yellow. Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to get fussy with colours, but yeah. if you do have a yellow <laughs> one, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, if you've got any bits laying around, let us know. Yep. Um, there was something else we needed. I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, we'll get on the next one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yep, hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. <laughs> oh, I think it's a lot of good information. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of good information. <laughs> in here. Um, Pretty much gone over everything. We have. We've gone through it as thorough as we can. Yeah. Um, but if we haven't, comment. We always like us wanting to the comments. Leave so comment. all, that, all that stuff is um, on eBay. So... Yeah. Um, like I say, you can cut out a fair bit of this cost with the clamps and yeah. like that. Piping kit comes with silicon joiners and all that. So if you're only doing a 10 pound thing, that'll be plenty. So don't waste your money on uh, more clamps and stuff than you need to. That's just sort of a bomb proof one we've done there. So yeah. uh, if you're not worried about it too much, you could probably knock whew, I don't know, a couple of hundred off it easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll say plenty of stuff on uh, Marketplace. Yep. And yeah, all right, we're going. Yeah, buddy, got stuff to do. <laughs> right, right, thanks See for watching. Later.